When you hear the words passive income, what image comes to you? If you're like me, you probably imagine yourself at the beach, you know, with your legs crossed, having some cocktails, with all this money just rolling into your life. But how real is that? To what extent can passive income be real in your life? Well, today I'd love to share with you nine of the best ideas for how you can generate a thousand pounds or more from passive income ideas. My name is Ken of the Humble Penny and Financial Joy Academy. What we do on this channel is to teach you ways in which you can create a dream life of financial independence and money joy. So stick with me and I'll share with you nine of the best ideas for how you can generate a thousand pounds per month from passive income ideas. The first way for you to generate passive income is for you to start your own blog. I love blogging and I started blogging two years ago and we currently generate an income from six different sources. Now from a passive income perspective, ad revenue is a big piece. The way you generate an income from ads is by creating a blog that has amazing content on it such that that content gets marketed and attracts eyeballs to your blog. By attracting people and views to your blog, you're able to then generate an income through advertising. Now, the way you generate traffic to your site varies. So on our site, for example, around 40% of the traffic comes through uh, Google. So via search engine optimization, we're able to attract 40% of our traffic from Google. Around 50% of the traffic comes through social media and similar platforms. So for example, Pinterest is a big driver of traffic to our website, as well as other platforms such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Another 10% of traffic then comes through referrals or via email lists and platforms like that. Now the thing about generating ad revenue from a blog is that it's based on the revenue per thousand impressions, revenue per milli, RPM, the milli being a thousand in Latin. Now, the type of revenue you generate in terms of the, the number, the amount that you actually get given per thousand impressions depends on a variety of factors, such as the number of ads you have per blog post on your site, or the amount of traffic you have coming into your website um, for people to consume your content. Now, I use a platform called Mediavine to generate my ad revenue. And I use them because they pay a lot more than you would through Google AdSense, for example. But the beauty of using those guys is that you get a more personal service, in my personal opinion, and you also make a lot more money. So in terms of revenue share, I get 75% and they get 25%. And every year that I'm with them, they give me back one more percent. So as a newbie, for example, next year, uh, one will get 76% and they'll keep 24%. So you can see how attractive it is for you to generate an income via your blog through ads. So I'm gonna show you a practical example just now so you can see what I mean. So as you can see on the screen, we um, on a particular day in June, for example, generated an RPM rate of around $26. And for the number of impressions, which Mediavine look at by way of sessions rather than page views, we had around 1,200 sessions on that day. And on that particular day, we generated an income of around $35. So you can see in order to make around a thousand pounds of ad revenue in one month, you would need to generate between 35 and $50 per day in order for that to then multiply by 30 days in a month for you to make more than a thousand pounds. The key thing is to focus on quality be consistent and make sure that you're helping people as part of the process because that keeps people coming back because they know they're getting high quality from your blog. The second source of passive income would be to rent out a spare room. Now I love this idea because it's one that anyone can start provided they've got a spare room in their home. The key thing with this though is location. Your location matters a lot because the better the location, the proximity to a station, for example, or to key uh, landmarks, the more likely you're able to kind of get a really good tenant for your spare room. What I definitely say you should do is to make sure you do your checks. You know, make sure you do those checks on that individual because you don't want the wrong person moving into your home and not, you know, causing some problems. So, 
Uh, in terms of income, I've done this myself. I've rented out a spare room when I used to have a flat and I was making in the region of 500 to 600 pounds uh, per month. So depending on the type of property you've got, it could be quite easy if you've got one or two rooms to, to, to let out for you to make up to a thousand pounds or more from just letting out a, a, a spare room or a couple of spare rooms. The next way for you to generate passive income is for you to set up a YouTube channel. So on YouTube, you also get paid based on your RPM rates, okay? So based on the number of views you have um, per thousand impressions. Now, the thing about YouTube though is that, imagine you've got like 10 million views, right? And you've got nobody watching your ads. You actually generate a big fat zero as far as revenue is concerned. So the key to generating an income on YouTube is to make sure that people watch your ads on YouTube. Now, how on earth do you generate ads on YouTube? Well, first you must create a channel that has a community. So YouTube is all about community. And the way you generate community on YouTube is to create content that people like and create it on a consistent basis. So YouTube loves high quality, consistent content for a community on YouTube. And by doing that, you can apply to the YouTube Partnership Program, YPP. And when you apply, the requirements are a bit like Mediavine for blogging, you need a minimum of 4,000 uh, watch hours in the last 12 months and you also need at least 1,000 subscribers on your channel. And you also, by the way, need to have read the YouTube community program guidelines. You need to have read that to make, make sure that you are abiding by their rules and, and that you're essentially, YouTube think you're a safe enough channel for them to approve. To make a thousand pounds, let's say that your rate per thousand uh, impressions is say eight dollars for example uh, if you generated say 50,000 views on your channel in a month that would make you around four hundred dollars a month now if you're a big-time uh, youtuber and you say you generated say five hundred thousand uh, views a month uh, it will it will help you generate an income of around four thousand dollars so you can see that the scaling of YouTube um, works in the same way as blogging in that you need a lot of traffic and you need that traffic to actually look at the ads on your channel. The fourth way would be to invest in the stock market. Investing in index funds and ETFs or investing in dividend paying stocks is an absolutely fantastic way for you to generate passive income. In fact, it's so passive that you don't actually require effort compared to say starting a blog or having uh, a tenant in a spare room. So with investing in the stock market what you really need is the capital to get started but once you get started it's you know it's fairly easy to invest in uh, blue chip companies that pay you dividends which can build up but you do need a sizable um, portfolio or a sizable pot of money invested for you to start to hit a thousand pounds a month. The fifth way would be to invest in property. Property investing is hugely popular and for good reason. And the reason for that is because you generate a lot of cash flow. And cash flow is amazing as a passive income uh, possibility. Investing in properties, uh, and by that I mean investing in properties that you let out to tenants, whether it's a small family or to young professionals or to students. The key there is, is that you let out in a really good location and that you've done your maths really well such that you, you're looking at making sure that the revenue you generate from your property far exceeds the costs as well as the hidden costs of running a property investment. But you can easily, say you generated 500 pounds profit from one property by having two properties which does require a good amount of capital but by having two properties you can quite easily start to generate a thousand pounds or more per month. The next idea is to in starting a membership site. What you do essentially is you build a community of people who you offer a ton of value. That value could be by you creating content that helps them move forward, content that helps to solve their problems. But essentially you're coming, you're coming up with ideas for things that will help people um, either generate more money themselves or to solve their own problems. 
And by doing that, people pay you a fee. It could be a low ticket fee, say of about 10 pounds a month, or it could be a fairly high ticket fee, in some cases going into hundreds of pounds a month. But say you had a membership site that charged people 20 pounds a month. Uh, all you'd need really would be uh, 50 people within your membership community for you to be able to generate a thousand pounds per month. And this is quite easily done because all you have to do is to um, identify a problem that people need solving and start to create content around that. And the minute you start to do that, platforms such as Thinkific, for example, are fantastic. I'll put a link down for that. Such platforms are fantastic for creating membership sites and they're quite low cost because all you pay each month is a subscription fee and typically the cost from maybe one or two students is enough for you to work towards covering your costs of paying for that membership site itself. The next way to generate a thousand pounds of passive income is to explore Amazon affiliates. Amazon is an amazing platform that we all use to do our regular shopping. Now, the amazing thing is you too can sell things on Amazon and get a cut for referring business to Amazon. Now, the beauty of this is that you can generate a commission of between 5% and 8% by selling a variety of Amazon products depending on what your location is. So for example, when I sell books on my blog, when I refer people to various um, books that I love on Amazon and they buy those books, I get a 5% commission of the sale price of those books. And also, if they go that day and buy the books and also go and buy various other things on Amazon, I also get a percentage of those various items that they've purchased. The beauty of Amazon is that even if people don't buy immediately from the moment they clicked on an affiliate link that you share on social media, for example, provided they do it within 24 hours, you can still get your commission paid to you. Another way to generate passive income online is to become an affiliate for a niche product. Now I love this because as a blogger, now as a YouTuber, there are so many products that I use that I find absolutely useful for which I recommend to my followers and to uh, the people who consume content on my various platforms. So I'll give you a really practical example. I teach people how to start their own blogs to make money online. And by doing that, given I've created my own blog that makes me money, I've been able to learn what various tools are useful as a result, by providing a ton of value to people, by teaching them how to start a blog, for example, to which you can see a tutorial below, people who consume that content might choose to buy uh, some of their tools for blogging via my links, for example. And so for some of those, I receive commissions in a region of $80 to $100 a month uh, per, per referral. And in a month, I could get you know, easily get 10 to 20 of those. So you can see how easily that can build up to a thousand pounds and a lot more each month, simply by people consuming and using my links that I refer to them to make various purchases. Now you can become an affiliate for various things. You can become an affiliate for courses, for software products, for digital products basically, because they are so easily marketed. So provided you're doing it in a really genuine way, in an honest way, and you're being transparent, people will take your recommendations and by buying from you, or buying through you instead, you get, you get paid a commission for referring that business. The next idea is to create an online course. I love courses and for me it took quite a long time to take the leap and to be able to come in front of a camera to be able to speak and create a course. But the amazing thing about courses is that everybody, no matter who they are, has some form of specialized knowledge that they can share with the world. And a course gives you the opportunity to help somebody else solve their problems. And by doing it, once you've created the course, it essentially could live for many, many years, generating income after income after income. So, and courses can be priced in different ways. So some courses are as cheap as, say, I don't know, 50 pounds, for actually buying a course and having lifetime access to it. Some courses are expensive as a thousand pounds, depending on the extent of the amount of value that they think they're, they're providing for their students. So if you had a course that you created that say you charged a hundred pounds for that course, by 
finding students, about 10 students a month, you can, on a recurring basis, generate a thousand pounds plus per month. I've done this myself and so I'm fully aware we've created a course called Fire Superpower, a course to help people achieve financial independence. And when we created it, that course took us about eight months to create because we're such newbies to course creation, but it's just been, it's just grown so much because it's helping people, you know, kind of personalize their plan for financial independence. It's something very specific uh, is, is what it's helping them solve. I really hope you've enjoyed those nine ideas on how you can generate passive income. Passive income is definitely something that you can get involved with today. There's always work involved with passive income. There's no such thing as passive income with no work at all involved. As you can see with those nine ideas I've shared, there's a, ver there's a varying amount of work involved. So for example, with property investing, you're a lot more hands-on with ongoing maintenance, with a blog, you need to create content on an ongoing basis with YouTube channels, you need consistency in creating content. With investing, you invest money, but you don't do a lot more work, but you need a lot of money working for you to generate a lot of dividends from your investing. So you can see that either way, although you're generating passive income, there's a lot of work involved in various ways for you to generate money. But the good news is, you're making the money. That's the exciting thing. And with other opportunities, such as making money via courses, once you've done the work first, it can go on to generate for you a ton of real passive income, because you're not really then doing a lot more work beyond just marketing the, uh, the courses. I've created for you an amazing guide. In the link below, you see a link to a blog post I've created called 21 Passive Income Ideas for a Freedom Lifestyle. This takes you beyond the idea of just nine passive income ideas to so 21 of them, which I've ranked for you such that you can look at them from the perspectives of how much returns can I generate from doing this idea? How much risk is involved in doing this idea? How much money in terms of capital do I need to get started with this idea? And how much effort in terms of work is required as well as what amount of liquidity do I get from investing time in generating money from this passive income idea? So I've looked at these 21 ideas, I've analyzed them and ranked them for you. So please look in the link below to check them out. I hope you've really enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe below. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I'd love to see you coming back. I'd love to hear what passive income ideas you're currently making money from please comment below to share what you're making money from from a passive income perspective. If you like those nine ideas, I'd like to know which one resonated with you the most. Which ideas are you going to pursue? Which ones are you more likely to try and make some passive income from? Thanks again for watching. Do subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Take care.